So today we're going to be doing a solo walkthrough solution for Escape Simulator Labyrinth of Egypt First Chamber. We'll start with the, feet, the Sphinx in front of us on the pedestal. As we inspect the statue, note the T-shaped hieroglyph here. There's a blue Egyptology book on the floor, go ahead and pick that up. After inspecting, you'll notice the matching hieroglyph on this page says darkness. There's a stone panel behind us on the wall here. Clicking this will reveal darkness in a sense. Place the Sphinx here to reveal the next clue. Now that we've gotten a new Sphinx statue, we'll repeat the same process. Match the waves hieroglyph to the word in the book, water. Let's place this Sphinx in this fountain here. As you can see, we've gotten what looks to be the top piece of a pyramid. Collect the bottom pyramid piece from the floor and the top pyramid piece from the fountain and assemble them on the pillar in the center of the room. You can tell that they go together because of the eye symbol on the bottom of these pieces. Find the briefcase in the room and unlock it using the latches on both sides. Finally, clicking the lid. You'll only need to grab the red Egyptology book and brush from the inside. The rest of these items are props. Use the brush on the lid of the chest to wipe the sand away, which reveals a carving. Pinning the red Egyptology book for easy reference during this puzzle helps a lot. You can see here the people, the person symbol is the thousands, the spiral represents the hundreds, the arch represents tens, and the dash represents the ones. So again, we're counting the person symbol here, um, and this will reflect the thousands column or the first position of this four number lock. We have three of them, so we'll just add them there. Next, we'll count the spiral symbol in the hundreds column or the second position of this lock. After noting four of these symbols, we'll plug that into the lock. Next is the arch, which is in the tens column or third position, and we have two, so we'll plug that in there. Lastly, we have the dash in the ones column, or the fourth and final position of this lock. And we have six. So after inputting this correct combination, we'll get access to the key that was previously locked. Use this key on the chest below. Opening this chest will cause the jar to break, revealing the second bottom pyramid piece. Um, inside this chest is the last um, top piece of the pyramid. We can now assemble the entire pyramid in the middle of the room, which ultimately unlocks another door key. So this door key, we plug in this door here. And this new door reveals a circular maze. So for this maze, we need to find which of the four symbols we cross to properly escape the maze, and then input them into the lock in that proper order. So first we have the lion, and then we come across the camp. Third, we hit the square. And then last, we hit the cactus. And we're out. So plug those in. The lion. The camp. The square. And the cactus. So we have another door key. When we use this, it unlocks, I believe, yeah, it unlocks the second circular maze. If you'll recall, these symbols appear in the um, blue Egyptology book from earlier. Pulled the wrong one up there. So the blue one here. So these are the same symbols that are on this maze. So with this maze, what we're going to do is we have to figure out which of these symbols we need to start from in order to complete the maze and then reference it in the book. So I started with the B on this one. Just trace it through just to confirm that this is the one that we're looking for. And we escape. So we know that it's the B that we're looking for. 
pull up the book, reference the B, and what we want to do now is find the symbols that correlate to those three letters beside it in the book. So B being the first one is a corner piece, J being a snake, and T being a hill. So we put those in the combination here, corner, snake, hill, and we get our last door key. That's it, we're out. If this video helped you at all, consider giving Friendly Frenzy Games a like and subscribe for more guides.